Oh, I'm pretty good. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Inside corner. Just lay the stud on top of it. Push it into the groove. Sometimes they snap in nice and tight, and sometimes they fit a little bit loose. Either way, to be sure it doesn't move, put some uh, three quarter inch tech screws starting at the bottom. And skip a couple. The reason you want to use tech screws is because they got a nice flat head and it won't hold the poly out versus a drywall screw which the head will stick out. flat working surface. Get a couple bundles of poly and put a plank on it. A sheet of plywood or something, but get yourself a working surface. This one fits nice and tight. Hopefully they all fit that. In the world of extrusion, they always have uh, variances. Everything you need there, the screws, the screw gun, the rails, it should take you two minutes to put the inside corner together. Okay. Stand by itself. Now I'm going to do the outside corner. Corner poly panels are hot wire cut and they're all different dimensions based on the size of the wall you're putting up. So we're doing a building eight inch wall. Side corner. Okay, now let's put it together and make one solid corner. And I recommend doing this right on a table, on the ground before you, and then stand the whole corner up as one. These plastic rails should fit kind of snug into the poly. If there's any looseness at all and you need help holding it together, just run along three inch through. But they don't have it. Okay. Once you got it together, 